welcome to this interactive tutorial of iMovie HD. We're going to be getting into how to use iMovie HD for both video editing and to do slideshows using still images. You'll have some options at the end of this first introduction clip on what specific topics you want to get into. So first off, let's take a look at iMovie's screen. What you see here is pretty much all you're going to be working with. iMovie is made to be very simple. It can be very limited in ways, but also it's easy to use, which is a bonus for this class. First off, I want to focus your attention over here with these tabs. The first tab that I have selected is the Clips tab, and the Clips tab is basically a place to organize video clips and organize any kind of media that we might want to use for our movie. So these are a bunch of still images and some video clips that I've pulled off of the internet and some of my own clips. So all this is is kind of like a folder that's storing some things that I might use. So at any time, if there is a clip that I want to use, I would drag it down here to the actual timeline to do editing. So this area up here is just storage. This down here is the movie that I'm going to be making. So first, when we're looking at our clips here, notice I can select these and they turn blue. When I double click on any one of these, it will let me change the name, which can be helpful to organize things. If you know one clip is going to be the introduction and another clip might be the conclusion, um, this could be a way to kind of organize that. It also tells you a little bit about the size of the files and also, in this case, this is a still image, it tells me the duration. And duration is another word for time. How long is the clip? So this is telling me that my clip is 12 seconds and 24 frames. So when you're doing video editing, it's very important that you know how the time code works. Right now, this could be confusing. A lot of people might look at it and think that that's 12 minutes and 24 seconds. But with video editing, it works with frames. If you are unfamiliar with frames, let's look at this as an illustration. We have a film strip, and this film strip is going to help me illustrate how video and film works. It's actually a series of still images shown in a sequence. And here, each one of these is a still image, and if I show each one of these individually very, very quickly in a sequence, it will look like this guy is actually moving and talking. This is how movies and video works. So when you're doing your video editing, remember this one important key tip that it takes 30 individual pictures or frames, 30 frames, to make one second of your video. So 30 frames equals one second. So going back to our duration here, this is telling me that I have 24 frames and 12 seconds. So this is actually almost 13 seconds. If you want to make any changes here, um, you have to hit the set key. If not, then um, it won't save your changes. So a couple more things that you should be aware of. If I actually want to start doing some video editing, I would need to drag this down into the timeline. But you'll notice that if you don't drag it down to the spot where it says drag clips here to build your project, the clip will not go in. So you need to make sure that your mouse cursor is in the right spot to make that pop in there. The reason is very important. This top section here is for all of your video clips and your pictures, whereas these two lines are going to be saved for music, sound effects, and voiceovers. So these two are for audio, this top one is for video. Now if you're having problems getting that in here, they've made a little shortcut for you. Over here, right now we are currently in what's called the Timeline Viewer, and they do have another option called the Clip Viewer. So if you just wanted to pop in a bunch of different images, um, the Clip Viewer can make this a lot easier. But you can't modify any of your music or sound effects this way. So you'll have to go into the timeline to be able to mess with that. Now below here, when we're in this option, the timeline editing view, 
you have the option also to zoom in or zoom out on your clips. So if you have a lot of different clips in here, this kind of makes it easy to move things around um, to change things up if you need to. So if I wanted to change the order of that, of whatever clips I have, this is a good way to do that. Um, zooming in and zooming out can be also helpful when you're doing specific editing. Over here is a way to change the volume level of your of a specific clip. Notice that these different clips turn blue when you click on them, but you can highlight multiple clips at the same time. Over here is another really helpful thing. Notice there's a little trash can. Now that is iMovie's trash, and everything that you do in iMovie is saved in its trash. So if you delete something, it won't be gone forever. So this is a clip that I deleted recently, but maybe I later on thought, oh, I actually really would like to use that clip. I can drag it out of the trash and put it into my clip bin very easily. So if your computer crashes while you're working on a project, a lot of times things will get kicked into the trash here. So that's a nice little thing to know about. But if you do empty iMovie's trash, your work will be gone, anything that's in there. And last but not least, over here we have um, an indicator of how much space is available on your computer. When you're working with video, it takes up a ton of space. And as you start adding in titles and sound effects and video effects and music, um, it starts to take up more and more space. Your video file gets bigger and bigger and bigger. If you don't have a lot of space on your computer, you'll get to a point where you can't save your work anymore. So iMovie has put together this indicator to tell you how much space is available on your computer. And as you start to run low on space, this will turn yellow and then finally turn red when no space is left. So now you guys will have the option to get into specific topics in working with iMovie HD. One of the topics is working with still images to create a slideshow. Another topic is working with live action video.